this film is so delightful, so wonderful. And I saw it after seeing several TIFF films that were heavy and dark. I was so delighted. I just felt like standing up and cheering. Oh, oh <laughs> nice. Thank you. You know, and that's sort of a signature of some of, of, some of these um, Disney shorts and films animated. And it's just such a, it's such a great thing. It's such a great attitude. It's positive. It's good stuff. So now, the pitch you, you gave them, and I do want to talk about this, I know you've talked about it, but the pitch was apparently out of this world. If you could tell me what you were thinking and what you thought. I guess I, I just had this idea I really want to share, and um, it started from, I was born in the 80s, you know, so I liked those um, uh, Encyclopedia Britannica. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I liked the, the, the biology volume, you know, where you would say, you know, the acetate page, and, I would connect them, and I would, it was just fascinating to me to see how the layers you know, would interconnect. And uh, so that image always stuck in my mind, I want to do something with it. So uh, yeah, my pitch, I, 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 that's basically the, the core of the idea. And I, um, yeah, also I'm Japanese-Brazilian, so I had the, right, like you see, <laughs> right. I had the Japanese, uh, and, uh, but then people look at me, oh, but your accent is not Japanese, you know, because I'm Brazilian, so I speak Portuguese. So. I have this Japanese side who's very uh, logical and disciplined, you know, but I also have my Japanese, no, my Brazilian side who is very... Real style. Yeah, yeah. like Scarnaval yeah, yeah. and the Rascal, <laughs> <laughs> you said. He's the yeah, Rascal. I have the Rascal side. You know. So I have this conflict, you know, and then it's tug of war in my, you know. Well, it's a good conflict because look what you did. Oh, thank right? you. Right? It's not a bad conflict. So did you get them right away or did you think, oh, hmm. Yeah, no. Uh, so this idea about the transparent pages, he had these really quirky drawings where you could see the internal anatomy of, of these characters. And then his sort of delivery in his pitch of ideas was so funny because it was deadpan and it was really fast uh, with his Brazilian accent being a Japanese guy. Anyway, it, it just made us laugh. We laughed a lot and there was something really original uh, and fresh about his design style and his creative vision that just made it the perfect choice for us. You know, it's strange that there haven't been more movies set inside the body. There was the Raquel Welch one, remember? Mm. From, uh, oh, God knows when. Inner Space? Action. Inner Space? Then, I don't know. No, it was before that. Okay. Um, and she was, you know, hardly dressed, that kind of thing, and taking us through the body. So. <laughs> So, but it's, it is, in a way, another frontier. You know, it's very cool that, that you did this. So what did you bring to us that, that could be a tool for education and learning? Uh, well, I, um, I don't think I, at the beginning <laughs> where we were trying to be very uh, medical driven, you know, we, we actually brought a doctor. But the more we started doing the short, we realized we were steering away from the, you know, the, the core of it, which is, you know, this conflict between the brain and the heart, you know. And I think that was a problem, you know, because we didn't want to just do it for the sake, you know. We want to make sure we're telling a great story, you know. And um, but uh, yeah, we did we we did a lot of research. We want to make sure we're accurate with everything, you know. And I thought, oh, by the end of the short, I would be like a master of anatomy, you know, which I I, I <laughs> long no have mouth. Mouth. You can do surgeries. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Well, you know, that's educational, learning that the heart and the brain are, are in opposition sometimes. Right, yeah. I, th I guess it's, it's more educational more in a sense of the team, the team of the short, you know, if you, because, you know, we want to make sure we tell a story that it is optimistic, but also it's very um, grounded on, you know, reality, because it's not something where Paul doesn't just leave his work and he, you know, goes to the beach. You know, we live in a reality, so I think it's finding that you know, finding that joy, but in reality, you know. In balance. Yeah, that like balance. balance. Yes, right. that, that kind right. of balance. You know, sometimes people make shorts, and then they're such hits, they make full features. Do you foresee something like that? We were actually talking about this yesterday. I think it's difficult for pantomime characters uh, to carry a full-length feature film. It's been done, but... Uh, I think it would be hard to make this. Yeah, I think a, this piece is very feature. specific for we were thinking in doing like a short. You know, it was yeah. a very um, specifically uh, thought out to so that short kind of you know. Um, yeah, that format. Yeah, yeah format. Yeah. Very fast. Yeah. yeah. I'll talk to you in five years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, did you have any character that you particularly uh, um, connected to? 
character, you know, I, I connect a lot to the brain, you know, because uh, I feel I'm the brain, you know, I feel the, that I'm kind of like, that's how I am always go to fear, you know, everything I do, like, I have my second thoughts, and you know, I always like, you know, overthinking, and, mm -hmm. and the fear, and I think that is a, the, our goal was that, too, that everyone could relate to the brain, you know, the brain is the protagonist, you know, and so I feel that that kind of, every everyone goes through that, that fear, you know, like, well, what, it, I don't want to do this because I, I'm going to fail, you know, or right. gonna, that's going to lead to my defeat, that, that's going to lead, and um, sometimes that makes you live an unhappy life, you know, yes. if you don't challenge yourself to overcome the barrier, you know, yeah. Exactly, that's, that's what makes us humans, the drive to move on and succeed, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you, which... Oh, definitely the bladder, right? <laughs> <laughs> the... Yeah. You know, everybody laughs at the uh, bladder bit. I think potty humor is universal. It is, isn't it? <laughs> I think it is. Yeah. 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 No, everyone has to use the restroom. Yeah. yeah. No. I. Yeah. So no. Want to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. No. I love the innocence of the heart. You know, it's so um, um, sort of joyous and always. You know, he gets down there in a minute when he gets. Uh, you know, sort of zapped a bunch of times, but. Um, but I love the the uh, the sort of optimistic the openness openness yeah. willing to take risks. I aspire to that. I suppose. See, I think there's something in there. I think it's incredibly inspiring, and joyous, and fun, and adorable. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much.